Oh, I'm going to be crazy with this situation, guys. Oh my God. You know that my uh, my neighbor, they keep fixing their house. I don't know why. They just uh, drilling and drilling all the time. Every day, even at 6, 6 p.m. So yeah, it is terrible with the background noise. And also outside, outside is very cold now. So I cannot make a video outside. And so that's why I'm sitting here and wearing a bunch of, oh, shit. Uh, this one is for, for better audio because uh, it can uh, pre prevent the wind noise. So in this video, we're talking about Femora 10. Uh, five things I lie about this software and five things I don't lie about this this software because uh, so many of you ask me hey Jackie is this the, is Femora 10 a good video editor and should I upgrade from Femora 9 to Femora 10 yeah, yeah the answer is easy yeah it is uh, still the same because uh, Femora 10 and Femora 9 is still the same video editor the core feature and I think the system is the same and also they use the same code uh, but there are some some minor difference uh, you can uh, count uh, after some months using Femora 10, after some months uh, uh, using Femora 10, is it? Yeah, one or two months. Uh, I don't remember exactly, but uh, I feel that uh, Femora 10 uh, crashed more than Femora 9, and of course uh, it may be because of my my computer because I didn't uh, own a strong enough computer to to run video editing software and multiple uh, multiple program at the same time. So, um, normally I use a screen recording software called Camtasia or Active Presenter to record a uh, tutorial about Filmora 10. And of course I also have my desktop and uh, it is strong enough to uh, to run Filmora, Filmora 9. And now uh, with Filmora 10 it's uh, still crashed and shut down unexpectedly. So that is, um, yeah the things that I don't lie about it because uh, when I try when I try to find a solution to uh, reduce crash and shut down unexpectedly uh, in Femora 10 I end up realize that uh, we can un uncheck uh, uncheck the GPU's acceleration option inside the preference uh, by the way it worked fine uh, in uh, 9.0.6 but after I upgraded to uh, 9.0.7 uh, the grass come back, uh, so yeah, I don't know why. Maybe uh, I hope that uh, Wondershare will fix the issue in, in near future. Yeah, I hope so. Uh, and that is the, the only thing that I I don't lie about this uh, software. But there's some other minor things I will mention uh, later. So that is about grass and non responding issue and all other stuff. Others are, are okay because Femora 10 has the same feature with uh, Femora 9. Um, and they, they, they added some, uh, some interesting feature like motion tracking and uh, animation keyframe and color matching and uh, audio ducking uh, and also a customizable shortcut. So there are more, more features here. I wish that they, they add freehand mask uh, and also um, color curve uh, for, uh, to the, the color correction tools, but uh, actually they didn't. So maybe they, they will add it to uh, to their Filmora Pro and on uh, Filmora Pro, Filmora Pro already have have the, this option, and maybe they 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 will keep the, the advanced uh, feature uh, to add to an, another software because they, they have just released a, a new software called Filmora you know, Animation Software. So exactly the same um, with Filmora 10. Uh, I don't know why they just uh, great uh, just want to create new product and new product and. Uh, want to sell more maybe they want to make more money and that is the things that uh, I also don't like about about them because they just uh, uh, create new product and uh, new product but very similar with the old product I, I don't know why they just uh, add new feature to this program then we can uh, we are willing to 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 pay more to pay more to get the uh, more feature by the way they, they didn't do that they just um, keep the program and uh, so uh, that is something that I uh, don't like about the, uh, this software, and uh, uh, some other things I uh, I, I like about this software. Uh, you know that I've been using it for years, so um, uh, there are many things that I like that I like about this software uh, than uh, this like. 
with the first thing, it is very simple to use. So this uh, this software is just a uh, drag and drop action, and um, yeah, you can just uh, you can start uh, making your first video after maybe one hour or two hours learning the software uh, with my tutorial because I have some tutorial here I will put uh, it on the right side or the left side of the screen so that you can uh, you can uh, start uh, learning the software uh, because it is very easy just drag and drop and the workflow is very smart so you have a preview windows and also a, a timeline at the bottom and uh, you have video effect and property, uh, property on the left side and also some uh, key folder uh, key folder in the program such as uh, media and audio title and uh, video effect and elements and split screen so it is very easy to, to navigate that is the first uh, the first thing I like about this software and the second thing uh, the rendering speed is super fast. Uh, I've been try. Uh, I yeah, actually on my computer I have some other uh, video editing software uh, like Movavi Video Edit Editor Suite uh, and uh, Premiere Pro and uh, Filmora Pro and uh, DaVinci Resolve. Also, because DaVinci Resolve is free, uh, but compared to uh, Filmora 10 or Filmora 9, uh, the video rendering speed is yeah. Yeah, much slower than uh, than this software. But I, I don't know I don't know why because I uh, I just make the test and um, edit uh, a video and then make a test uh, with a short video and long video and I can see that uh, video rendering speed um, in Filmora is is much faster than other software, especially uh, Filmora, uh, especially Premiere Pro and uh, DaVinci Resolve. But maybe this uh, this professional uh, video editing software requires um, much stronger video, a uh, much stronger computer to 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 render video faster. So that that is the case. And the the things that I like about this software, added to that we have uh, we have many uh, title preset. So title preset is what I'm, uh, I really like about this software. But normally when we make video, even uh, for our clients and. Uh, YouTube video, the, uh, the, the most common use feature is adding text, adding text to video. So uh, we always need to add text to video, so just create a title and create a lower third and uh, create a subtitle and end credits or, or something. So all the video, every video I use, um, uh, I, I have uh, text on my video. So uh, they have a basic video, uh, basic text editor and also advanced text editor. So there are two, uh, two uh, text editor inside the program, and also a lot, of many, many preset, many types of preset that, that we can just drag and drop and, and use it, and also mm, we can customize um, like the way we we want uh, with the, all the preset, and also create our own uh, in in the custom custom uh, folder. So that is the third thing I I like about this software. Uh, so the fourth thing, okay, is, is about transition. They offer a lot of transition, many transition, many different type of transition. So that is very interesting. That uh, we uh, we have we have more than two hundred or three hundred different kind of transition that we can use. So we we can be more creative when making video. Uh, because uh, when I try uh, Premiere Pro and uh, DaVinci Resolve, uh, the the default uh, transition effect is very limited. So there's only some some transition uh, over there, such so as this so and uh, fade in, fade out, and, and something like that. And uh, whenever we want to um, get more transition effect, then we have to uh, go to the internet and search for some uh, kind of transition pack, and then download it and and use. And even even uh, when we get the pack, uh, we still it is still very time consuming to uh, uh, to to use the, that transition in our project. Bye bye car. So that is annoying. I I know I know, but uh, uh, creating a new transition uh, take a lot of time. But using transition in Filmora is just uh, very easy and very fast. So that is the fourth thing and the final thing about this uh, this software. Uh, I love about this software they, uh, is that they keep upgrading and adding more more material for us. Uh, because uh, you know that uh, it's been one year or two years uh, since they released uh, Filmora 9 and now um, they upgraded to uh, Filmora 10 with some more features it, maybe just uh, four or five more by the way I, I love to see that because uh, uh, 
they are listen to us, listen to to the user, uh, listen to user. Uh, I mean, they are listening to to user because we complain about the, the advanced feature in this program, and we ask for uh, motion tracking and uh, and animation keyframe. And now they they added to uh, all that stuff uh, to to Filmora 10 and offer it for free. Uh, but maybe in Filmora 11, no, we don't have a free upgrade, by the way, it's okay, because we are ha so happy with this. So what to share, uh, uh, what to share, um, keep upgrading the feature inside th this program. So they, they are not going to stop uh, upgrading the program, because I saw many, many other uh, video editors, they just, uh, uh, they just finished uh, Finish the product, product sell to uh, to user, and then they stop upgrading. So they just uh, make money on that product. So that is terrible. A a added to that, they uh, they also they ha they also have a YouTube channel. So there's uh, JJ and Elias and uh, Johnny. So uh, there's just some guy uh, some guy there, but they creating tutorial and uh, good stuff about uh, film around so we can uh, learn new things. And also some uh, some good teacher here on YouTube, uh, such as um, Daniel Bartan and uh, Don V and uh, Technomania, and also some some other. But I don't know Deep Faban, for example, and me myself. Uh, I'm also teaching about Filmora 10 here uh, for about two two years, and I make about yeah over 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 300 different tutorial about Filmora uh, Filmora 9, and now I'm start uh, making tutorial about Filmora 10. And I hope I can, um, yeah, finish finish all the things that I want to 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 make about this uh, Filmora 10 um, before they they release the new version, because you know that uh, yeah making tutorial is funny because we can make about all the basic things and then go to advanced things and and then after that they uh, they release a new version and then we need to do it again again again. Uh, okay, uh, did I say a lot of things? A lot of things. Uh, I I I think I should not uh, I should not forget to to mention uh, this. Uh, it is also a very affordable video editor because um, you know that the single a single license of Filmora 10 is only 60, 69.99 US dollar, uh, around 70 US dollar, and with my discount coupon code, about uh, you can save uh, 20 percent discount. To, you can get 20% discount coupon code of Fimura 10, uh, link in the description below. Uh, so you, you need to pay only 55.99 US dollar for lifetime. So that is lifetime license. So it is very, very affordable compared to uh, Premiere Pro. Uh, we need to pay, uh, we need to pay uh, 30 US dollar per, uh, per month for the Creative Cloud. Or we need to pay more than 250 US dollar per lifetime. I don't remember. But all, all other other professional video editor cost uh, 299 US dollar and at the same level. For other simple uh, video editor like Power Director or you know, Movavi Video Suite and uh, AVS uh, AVS for You and Nero Video Editor. Sometimes uh, some some other stuff like that. Uh, it costs uh, around 70 or 80 US dollar. Uh, per lifetime, and some some even offer subscription plans like Power Director 360. And I think Filmora is uh, Filmora license price is very affordable and acceptable uh, for those of you who want to make YouTube video and and travel video, something like that. Okay, so I, I hope you find some uh, interesting information uh, about Filmora 10 today in this video. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, I make the tutorial about Fibora 10 almost every day and other stuff also. I also make tutorial about Camtasia, Active Presenter and some other, other interesting uh, things. Okay, so I hope you enjoy. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.